Hey guys, it's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today we are gonna be playing survival games Actually guys, I'm just kidding instead. We're gonna be blowing up the survival games map But yeah guys another episode of mods vs maps and today the survival games map against the rival rebels mod Which should be a lot of fun. I mean the explosions from this mod are some of the most amazing ones in all of Minecraft so yeah, I did put a nuke down here. It's my way of getting revenge on all the times I played this map and couldn't get a chest at the beginning. It's upsetting. So today I blow it up. Cow, why are you staring at that? You got to get like probably like 500 blocks away if you want to survive, but I'll give you a minute. So yeah, guys, I set up a stealth bomber up here. It should be awesome, but I did have one issue, which I'm going to show you guys in a second. But if you want to see more videos like this, guys, be sure to smash that like button like always. If we get it 6,000 again, that would be amazing. So yeah, we're starting with the Stealth Bomber, which is the weakest explosion in the mod, and that is so creepy how it opens when you get close to it. I had an issue where it was actually crashing Minecraft whenever I was in this map, which is really weird. Not sure how that would cause it. So we're only going to use it once. Only once, and then the rest is going to be nukes and SAR Bombas, which are so much more explosive. So all we have to do here is hit this button, and then I get to aim with this, and I'm thinking the building right in front of us. I'm saving the spawn for the nuke, and that cow is closer than ever, I think. But not much I can do about that. Alright, so we'll aim right for this building, I guess, and blow it up. And I swear, the stealth bomber is so cool because look at it. It's actually flying towards the target and dropping down a bomb. That is so awesome. But sadly, not really too destructive. It, it didn't really do that much. Kind of just made a hole at the top of the building. But not to worry, guys. I set up the whole map with nukes all over the place. If you've used Rival Rebels before, you know it takes a while to set things up. So I figured I would just plant them down. And I marked them all with diamonds so I'd remember where they are. So we should have a lot of fun doing this. Oh, and guys, I totally forgot to say total respect to the map creators. Usually you're supposed to say that before you nuke the map. But today I waited. Total respect to them. They made an awesome map. And today we are going to be blowing it up. So I guess we'll get to the center here and get rid of this nuke. The poor cows stand no chance, do they? Yeah, the same one is just standing there. I'm so sorry. I know if you were a chicken, you'd probably survive, but you're not a chicken. Why do you look at it? Go, go that way. It's, it, you'll be okay, maybe. Just pray. So I think for this one, guys, all we need to do, I set it up already, is put in the fuse, and then you get 25 seconds to run away. That is awesome. Are you going to make it? Do you need a little push? Run. Run that way. R really far. Okay, not towards it. That is one stupid cow. It wasn't going to live very long anyway, guys. It, it's fine. All right, we've got 10 seconds. Will it escape? It doesn't look good. Actually, I don't want to be too high because the fire from it is kind of not that high in the air. You'll see in a second. All right, here we go. Now that is amazing. The cow is still alive. And oh my God, <laughs> did you see him? He went flying and died midair next to my feet. It's really a brutal explosion. It spreads every second. And you can see we have found bedrock. Oh, and that building is completely gone, too, and the fire is spreading. It's amazing. That is seriously so cool. Let's try to get, like, an aerial view of it. Actually, it looks really weird from here. It's very flat. It looks cooler from down here. But, yeah, I think we took out the spawn. I got my revenge finally, guys, and there's, like, one, a couple blocks, like, I could see through the bedrock. Did it break it somehow? I think we took care of it, and I'm pretty sure this fire might cause a little lag. It's kind of a lot. We'll find out in a second. That was awesome, though. And I do have another nuke right here. I want to make sure we get rid of the entire map. And if you didn't notice, the place is in a giant glass dome, which I'm kind of far away from, but you can see some of the glass from here. All right, I guess we're on to the next one, the next nuke. So once again, we'll open this up, and we will toss in a fuse. And we have 25 seconds. And after this one, we'll go to the Sar Baba, which is so amazing. I'm really excited about that one. All right, so I'm going to back up, and I'm hoping, I'm really hoping, I'm praying, guys, that these buildings are gone. Because if this can't do it, then hopefully the Sar Bomba can. We have 10 seconds, and I totally annihilated the middle here. All right, let's try to get a good view, guys. And it should happen right now. Awesome. Come on, get the buildings. You can totally do it. Spread it to the buildings. It's doing it. Please destroy the whole thing. That would be awesome. I'm really hoping for it. I see, like, blocks falling. Oh, it's actually working, and there's there's mobs falling from the sky and, and dying. I think every single one died there. This is working so good, isn't it? 
Oh man, I had a Sarbomba over here. I hope I didn't accidentally destroy it with this nuke. Wow, the entire building? I think it's gone. Oh, there's a little bit left. A, a really, really tiny bit of it. Wow, that was so cool. We, we kind of got some of the tops left. Did it destroy my other bomb? I had a bomb right over here. I may have accidentally destroyed that. I'll probably have to place that one back down if we can't get it with the other ones. All right, so we're going to head over here, guys. And this is where I placed the Sar Bomba. Should be right there. Take a look at it. It's so massive compared to the nuke. So this is going to make a real explosion. A real one. The other one, it was practice. Now we're getting serious. All right, so we'll put in a fuse. It's the same thing, 25 seconds. I feel like they should give you like five minutes for this one. All right, so we'll back up and we'll say goodbye to a lot of stuff. Seriously, I might not have even needed the one over there. It's such a big explosion. All right, you can do it, Sarbomba. 10 seconds, amazing explosion about to come. And I'm predicting every building around here is going to be gone. At least I hope so. All right, here we go. That is a giant ball of flames and wow. It's like the stealth bomber, except it's about 7,000 times bigger. It's really that much bigger. It's like into the sky. It's as tall as the buildings are. And it works the same way it spreads. So you can see it's actually spreading through the buildings. And I saw some sheep die over there. And it does look to get rid of obsidian too, guys. Some creepers in here. I'm even feeling bad for the creepers right now. Which look to be like radioactive or something. Oh, I was really hoping these buildings would go completely. Come on, just spread a little bit further. Just a little bit further. It's putting down, like, nuclear waste. It changes the blocks. So before, this was a building. You could tell because it has a really lot of doors and signs. That That is a lot of doors. What the hell is going on over here? There's, like, 500 doors. That is so strange. But, yeah, that's, that's a nice crater. A very... Did I see a bed fall? Did anyone else see that? I swear I saw a bed fall down. It's a really nice sized crater. And I feel like I gotta place it down over here again, guys. I had one and I accidentally blew it up with a nuke. But I'm thinking right in the middle might end out really cool. Not to worry, guys. I have placed down another Sar Baba and we've got 20 seconds until it blows. I put it right in the middle because that way I... What the hell am I doing? I just flew like right into the ceiling. That way we can't miss this. The whole thing's gotta go. At least I hope so. It's actually right next to the side of the map, too, so hopefully it'll take most of it. You can see the last one made a massive crater. All right, here we go. Come on, whole thing. You could do it. You could do it. I believe in you. Oh, my God. It's going through the structure. All right, let's try to get a different view of this. Is it literally through the ceiling? It's, it's really hard to tell. There's a lot of fire, but it should spread and eventually get rid of all of this, I would imagine. I could see, like, bookcases, like, right in the middle, which is weird. You'd think a bookcase wouldn't be able to survive this, but, you know, what do I know? I'm not a bookcase. All right, so let's see. Is it getting rid of the building? I can see it's spreading like it's nuclear waste. I'm trying to get a really high view of this giant explosion, which is almost up to world height, by the way, guys. Because I'm pretty sure that's where the glass dome goes to. All right, guys, it seems to be breaking the building now in, like, a really weird way. The walls are slowly disappearing one by one. You can hear some weird noises and a couple of mobs, like, jumping really high. It's totally working now in such a strange way. And there's a bunch of nuclear waste all over the place and lots of flying mobs. Yeah, we totally got it, guys. This whole part, it's about to go. There's some leaves left, but that hopefully will be gone in a second. All right, I was a little nervous. I was like, why aren't you working? And, and then I almost started to cry. But now that it's working, I'm very happy. And it seems to have happened a little bit higher in the air. Not exactly where I placed it, but that was probably because of the ceiling from the building. Oh, and it even... Did it actually break this? I think it broke the glass on the way in. That is really cool. All right, yeah, it's definitely spreading now. I'm trying to see what we end out with. Oh my god, the whole thing is going. It's breaking the whole dome. And the trees are getting petrified by the explosion, too. All right, I'm really glad now. That that totally worked. But the bookcases, guys, I was right. The bookcases can survive anything. They're like chickens. They're made out of chickens. I don't I don't know, but it seems like it, it's kind of working over here. A lot, of, a lot of bats down there. 
All right, I think we did it, guys. We, we destroyed all the trees. We destroyed the glass dome in that entire area. So let's see. I think I put down another nuke somewhere around here. I, I really hope I didn't accidentally break it again. All right, I think it's a little bit over this way. And I marked every single thing with diamonds so I can't miss them. You see it like up there? I see some diamonds. All right, so let's see. I'm sure I put these down. I had to have. Oh, I put another Sar Bomba right up here. This is going to be awesome. All right, so let's do this once again. Get my pliers. And we will shove in... Where is it? A fuse. All right, so we got 25 seconds. And I'm pretty sure this is going to do the same thing. It might even get rid of this building. I kind of hope so. It's like super tall too. It's like a clock tower. A really broken one. You can could, you could tell it's broken because it's kind of got holes in it and trees growing over it. All right, 10 seconds. Come on, do the whole thing. Don't do that weird lag thing. That's annoying. Just blow up the entire thing in one go. I believe in you. Oh, yeah, it listened to me. See, all you have to do is ask, guys, and that's what happens. Oh, man, I'm, like, inside it. Can we go deeper inside? Oh, that's weird. All right, I'm, like, underneath it. The clock tower is no more. It's spreading like crazy, too. Hopefully, this building goes. I see a zombie over there, and I really want him to die. I really hope you die. I don't know if it's going to happen. There's a spider jockey in there. Spider jockey inside the building. Yeah, there's a weird view. I'm actually going to go outside and see if we have a better view from here. Yeah, that actually worked really good. The building, top of it. Do we only get the top? We got part of the building. Not the entire thing. And it looks like we may have gotten a lot of the glass dome again. I gotta say, the Rival Rebels mod is so cool, and it's actually one of the least laggy ones, because when I use too much TNT, sometimes it is crazy. Alright, so I know I placed a lot of stuff on the other side of the map, like over this way. Are those diamonds for me? It looks like they are. So I placed down a regular nuke right here. I feel like I placed everything perfectly to annihilate the entire map. This is not for me, guys. I didn't put this TNT here, but I did put this here, and this is what we're going to blow up. All right, so this one is a normal nuke. It's not a SAR bomb, but it doesn't do that giant circle thing. But it definitely destroys a lot of stuff. Only a few more seconds, and we'll say goodbye to this area over here. And my diamonds. My beautiful diamonds. I didn't even consider that. that that's expensive over there. Hopefully, they somehow survive this. I love how it kills all the mobs in the map, too. They die a horrible death. I wonder how much damage it does. It has to do a lot. They, like, instantly die if they're standing there. You know what, guys? We can test something out. What if we put down an iron golem and see if it instantly kills him, too, in the next explosion? Yep, we, we totally got this one. How about these buildings over here? Hoping some destruction? Yes. At least we broke the side of it. But as you can see, it, like, spreads. And, wow, there's a lot of diamonds underneath the map. All right, so do, do we get this building? Oh, it's completely gone. That is amazing. All right, so if you head further over here, I know I put down a bunch, like, near this town. Because there's, like, a little town over here. And I put a nuke directly in the middle. You can see my diamonds from here. It's like a little cactus. Why is there a cactus over here? Okay, so I think it's right around there. There it is. We found the nuke. So this should get rid of the entire little town. I do love these kind of maps. It's really cool the way they're built. All right, so let me take a fuse. And this one should get rid of this. And honestly, guys, we've destroyed most of the map now. It's not really that big. But you can see over there, more diamonds. I've got a couple more explosions coming after this one. All right, guys, only a few more seconds, and it's going to blow. I totally forgot the iron golem, too. I'm not going to let it happen on the next one. I'm not going to let it happen, guys. Next explosion, iron golem. He's going to stand in it, and we'll see if he instantly dies from it, which I'm starting to think he probably will. Oh, should we put a chicken next to him, too? I'm interested in who's going to last longer. I feel like chickens, they, they just don't know how to die. It's impossible to kill one. All right, so the fire is spreading. The town is, is really upset right now. If anyone lived here, that it's not good, and I'm starting to feel like a terrible person. Yeah, the whole thing's going, guys. couple buildings left, and it is gone. Wow, that is so sick. All right, so I definitely had some diamonds over here. Definitely did. So I want an iron golem, and I actually don't have not enough items installed right now. So I'm going to take some iron blocks in a pumpkin, and we're also going to take a chicken and see what happens with that. I swear the chicken is probably going to last longer. 
All right, so I got a chicken spawner, and let me see what I actually place over here. I'm not sure if it's a Sar Bomba or if it's a normal nuke. Actually, it looks to be a normal nuke. So I guess, where should I put them? I think anywhere around here is probably going to be fine. All right, Iron Golem, I'm going to build you right here. All right, that should be perfect. And a chicken, like a, it's like a pet for you. And we'll see what happens. All right, so let me get my pliers here. You can only open it with pliers in your hand, by the way. Put in the fuse. Is the chicken trying to escape? It'd be so funny if it did. All right, so we got 25 seconds, and we'll see who lives longer. All right, here we go. Chicken, can you beat the iron golem? They're both about the same amount away. All right, here it comes. So far, they're both alive. Iron golem died first. The chicken lasted longer. Oh, no, he didn't die. Okay, now he died. He, he totally died right there. Yeah, he took some damage. It didn't kill him instantly. It knocked him away and I guess hit him for about half his health. I swear, I thought for a second that the chicken actually lasted longer with its four health. All right, so I'm pretty sure this was this was on a building, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was. And and here's the building. It doesn't look so good anymore. And it's got mushrooms in it. I like mushrooms. Let's grab those. No, we're not going to do that. All right, that is, that is totally gone, guys. This entire side of the map. So I guess what I need to do is look around and see if I left any more nukes. And what is going on over there? I didn't just place you over there. What are you doing? That's like a bug in the mod, I think. I've seen this happen before. Like sometimes one of the nukes, it'll just start going out again from the same spot. It's really weird. Not to worry, guys. I explored around a little bit and found the last explosive. So I placed it around here somewhere. I got another nuke. So this nuke should be able to take out all of this. And then I think we pretty much took out the map. It's kind of a small map, but the structures are really cool. And of course, the nukes and the Sar Bombas are just so explosive. It's amazing. All right, guys, we only have 10 seconds, and I'm testing this again. I think it was a fluke. I think the chickens got it this time. I feel like it's a competition between them. Oh, the chicken is on top of it. The chicken, it was still alive. Are, are you okay? Okay, it's, it's probably not okay. I can't believe that it climbed on top of it. That is so sick. Imagine if it just walked out right now. That, that would freak everybody out. It definitely would. Wow. Yeah, that was a bad idea from the chicken. I think we took out the glass dome again. Wow, these explosions are so cool. And look at all the mobs over here. There are so many mobs all over the place. But yeah, guys, we have pretty much totaled this map. There's giant craters and explosions all over the entire thing. And that is about all there is to show for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the commentary. If you did, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you next time for another Minecraft video.